Okay, brief little aside. Sometimes there are coincidences that are just coincidences. And sometimes I think God's actually trying to tell me something. So last night I was recording the third part of my Tasteful Mediocrity series. And before I even got to editing it today, I was doing a little Bible study on this app. And it's from First Chronicles when it's talking about like, all the gold and jewels and things that were being donated and given to build the, the first temple. So they talk about worship and giving our all in worship. And my ears kind of perked up. I'm like, oh, worship, that's kind of like what I like to think deeper about. Anyway, here's what it went on to say. One of the troubling attitudes that I've met from time to time in our churches is a kind of laissez-faire, anything is good enough approach that does not demand that we bring excellence the very best that we have to the service of the Lord. Near enough is good enough. Too many times, in too many places, we are willing to bring mediocrity to our worship of God. And as I read the Old Testament, I am time and time again impressed by the fact that worship for them was very serious business. And just as David said, I will not offer to God a sacrifice that cost me nothing, so in worship, they would be satisfied with nothing less than the very best that they had. The building had to be the best, because it was for God. The music had to be the best, because it was offered to God. So the best musicians were carefully trained and thoroughly prepared, because this was for God. Okay, yeah. So I want to just make sure I'm clear on one thing. I believe that we have to bring the best that we have to offer to God in worship. However, the best that we have to offer is not always the same. Different people have different amount of talents, different skills. The most excellent offering you can make is going to be different for different people. So what I'm trying to do with this series is get us thinking about how to use whatever skill level we're at, at the most excellent way possible. And I hope I haven't given the impression that we shouldn't take worship seriously or that it's okay to just kind of be like, ah, whatever, which I know is an easy attitude to have. I've certainly had it from time to time. Is that it? Is that all I wanted to say? Yeah, worship matters. Do it with excellence, but that doesn't mean you have to be the most excellent person to do it. Okay, I think that's all I wanted to say. Ciao.